I am Saranya Gunar Singh and I am an energy engineer with 7th Wave. I am an architecture, my background is in architecture. Um, I do energy analysis and consulting for high performance buildings as well as I do a lot of research on energy efficient building technology like studying demand control ventilation systems or understanding how buildings will react or how climate, climate change will impact building energy performance. Thanks to NASA for sponsoring the study, and to 7th Wave's research team, Doug Al, Scott Shearer, and Lee DeBailey, who completed this study. We tried to analyze how climate change will impact building energy performance. So we studied NASA's Tennis Space Center, which is located in southern Mississippi, and it's a complex of about 140 buildings. These buildings, we found, had twice the um, energy use intensity of an average building in the US and this is because these buildings are all rocket testing facilities and laboratories which typically have very high energy use. They use about 80 million kilowatt hours of electricity annually and about 1.2 million therms every year. Um, so when we looked at the Spanish Tennis Space Center, we tried to understand how the center is going to perform in the future. So we incorporated the future climate files, future climate um, data files into our energy analysis method, and we tried to understand what is the energy performance going to be and how is the energy cost going to be. It's, um, it's strange because as an industry adopted practice, we used past climate data to influence how buildings of the future are going to operate. So we're looking at climate data between 1991 and 2005 to understand how buildings are going to operate 50 to 75 years into the, years into the future. And this gives a very skewed perspective because this is not a realistic projection of energy costs. Um, from our study, we found out that Stanis Space Center is going to use about um, 17 is going to have an uh, increase in their energy use by about 17 percent and their energy cost is going to go up by about one million dollars annually. That's, that's a lot of money. Our study is an effort to understand how climate change will impact building energy performance. Climate scientists predict that over the U.S. or the North American continent we would see about a 5 to 10 degree increase in average annual temperatures. And this would definitely mean a change in building energy use as well, because we all know that building performance is very closely tied to the local climate. We tried to quantify the impacts of climate variability on building energy performance. And one of our key findings was that um, we can expect to see a very high increase in annual energy use. In the NASA case, we found up to a 17% increase in annual utility costs because of climate variability. So specifically, we've developed a energy analysis approach or a modeling simulation method to incorporate future climate data into our existing modeling practices. And by this, our goal is that we have a very realistic perspective of how future energy performance is going to be. One of our other findings was that current energy efficiency technology is very good at adapting, at mitigating the effects of climate change. For example, when we design a very good envelope for a building or when we put in highly efficient HVAC system, we're, we're building a very energy efficient building for us today as well as we're increasing the climate resilience of the building into the future. Climate resilience, um, resilience is the ability to quickly recover from an unexpected event or from a setback. And climate resilience in buildings would mean that the buildings we designed today are equipped to deal with both the average increase in temperature as well as extreme weather events, both of which are predicted to happen from climate change. Um, in the US, we spend about $400 billion in utility costs in the building sector alone. And any change to climate would mean that we have an unexpected um, cost to account for due to building energy use. We're talking about climate resilience because we want to be prepared for the expected change in energy use in buildings.